and I'm back for another computer game today. This is my car in the middle, and then I these are the upgrades that I can get, the ones with the white. So I'm going to get a boost so that I can have basically kind of more fuel. So I have to hit controller X. So I'm just going to drive through some zombies and I have to get to the end because at the top you see that little white dot and that yellow arrow. The yellow arrow is the farthest I've gotten. That white dot is me right now. And I need to get as far as that one car way across the thing so I'm not even halfway yet. So I'm going to get an engine again, an up engine upgrade because the engine um, makes your fuel last longer. And to go faster, you just hold the up key on the up, down, left, right, like arrow keys. So, and then the boost is control. And you have to not go too slow or else you will die. And then you just stop and then it says whatever day you're on complete. And then this is my caching amount. So I'm going to buy a boost and a transmission, which increases the maximum speed I can drive at. So that's good. And then, um, and then, um, the new car that I can get, I can get also, like, a cop car, and I can get, like, a van, but, um, and the van is the best car that you can get. And I can also get a thing called armor, which isn't really armor, but it actually gives me, like, a blade in the front of my car to, so, to make it so that I don't take as much, like, slow down as from zombies as I normally would so I'm just gonna kind of speed through this right here just so I can get enough because I'm really close to 240 which is what I need for the um, armor and the first armor it always gives you like some blade on the front of your car now I just fell in this hole which actually there's like a secret tunnel down there so yay I got the armor okay and then I'm gonna also get this gun which um, shoots the zombies down before they can hit my car so as you can see, guys, I just got that, like, spinning blade in the front of my car with the orange. So that just, like, helps me go through stuff easier. Which helps. And then the other one, it just gives me, like, more armor on my car, which also helps so that I don't slow down as much. Now, I'm going too slow, it says. Yeah, so I'm not that good at this game. I have beaten it before, but even then it took me, like, a while. Because it's a pretty long game, there's like three levels. So, it's, um, once you reach a new car, you actually can't go back to the previous car. And then you get to go to a new level with your new car. So, um, unless you just like never beat the level, you can go, you can't, if you don't beat the level, you don't get to go into a, a new level and you don't get a new car. But if you do beat the level, you get a new car and you get to go to a new level. But you just, you have none of your upgrades from the past car. And once you get all the upgrades on a car, and like when you can't upgrade it anymore, it improves your engine um, by a little bit. It'll be like, oh, engine improved by an amount. And then it'll be like, okay. And that's just, it, and then... Eventually, when you get, like, a better car, like the cop car, or, like, this van, they can drive better, and they get, um, better upgrades than just, like, this, this lame stuff here. So, I'm gonna try to beat at least the first level for you guys today, just so I can show you the other levels. And so, as you can see, there's zombies, and then eventually there's gonna be zombies that, like, jump at my car from like behind and then they like try to latch onto your car and then they slow down your car by a lot so they're like they're like very very bad they're like probably the worst type of zombies other than like the really boss zombies no yeah i just got a gun so that's gonna help slow down so i have 10 bullets right now and it automatically fires at zombies just so that they don't slow me down oh yeah awesome um, so that they don't slow me down as I'm driving. Because otherwise they slow you down and then that just uses up more of your fuel than it normally would. So I'm out of bullets now, but I still have like a really cool gun on the front. And there are going to be some other zombies that are like really big. And then they like 
jump onto the front of your car and like they won't go off until unless like you go like super fast so wow I can actually get a fully upgraded gun and the fuel is just like so you can go longer because right now I'm only at half a tank but I can get to a full tank and then that little fan in the back is my boost so it's just like kinda extra fuel without having to actually upgrade my fuel so oh god okay I'm out of boost crap but this is the farthest I've ever gotten yeah awesome and then explosion so those red barrels with like the the little thing on them those are the exploding barrels so those will explode if you touch them there but you kinda need to land on them hard and then they explode like all the zombies around you which is really good if you have like 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 a zombie like latched onto the back of your car like it'll kill them which then they'll not be on your car yeah I got to the top awesome so and then there are like some other zombies that are like like that one guy like yeah did you see the guy he like jumped up from behind my car oh then uh that that guy he was like one of the guys that like goes onto the back of your car and then slows you down so I'm gonna get fuel again and then drive so I can basically kind of fly with my boosts now so oh god I need to like go out and then flip I hate that that's one thing that I kind of that's that's not that 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 good about this game is you can get stuck in places and then you have to like either use your boost or just let wait for it to like time out and then you'll have to redo the level because otherwise like you can flip upside down and then you can't really use your wheels unless you use your boost and then okay so there now I have all the armor so it just gives me like I take less slowdown damage from hitting zombies and I have like 30 bullets right now so I am, I'm actually, wow, my farthest is really close to the end of the level. So, and this is a not Doppler if I didn't say that already. And this is the first, like, rated game. It's, like, in the top ten games, like, this is the first one. And there's multiple different levels that you can get on, too. You can get on, like, top levels, medium levels, and the bottom levels. And so the top levels are just really hard to get onto because like you have to like use your boost or something or go up like a ramp and then kind of fly towards it. So I I my my strategy is just to kind of fly like really far with your boost like halfway through the level and then just kind of fall into this hole and then you drive down here and you get an awesome and then you blow up that because otherwise then you don't have to try to make that jump over the that one ravine now that that guy he just like passed my car and just like that guy he would have jumped but I think he bugged out or something because he didn't actually jump at my car so hmm and then also you can go backwards but then like you'll just kinda waste your fuel and then it like kind of stops you like from going like way far back in level like you can only go where you are on the screen because otherwise like people could just go like back to the start and then waste all their fuel so that guy he just jumped but he missed my car and so he like broke in half oh god that guy as you can see he latched he latched onto like the back of my car so I'm really close to getting my new cop car very soon so Ooh, wheels as well <gasps> I just need one more fuel upgrade and then I'm gonna have all the upgrades okay I'm gonna fly 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 wow I almost made it like entirely through the level just then on that one flying thing so and the cops will still stay on your car for a while so like you kind of need to have an explosion because otherwise they okay yes I got the police car Okay, 
So, with the police car, I'm gonna not have any of my upgrades, and then it's gonna say, like, um, replaced with a better vehicle. So, here I can only get a fuel upgrade now. But, this, this car is really good. Like, it, it, it drives super smooth. And then there are gonna be, like, harder zombies in this. Now I just have to do this through this tunnel now because I'm kinda stuck. Whoops. And if you just stop, even if you still have fuel, it will, like, just take you back to the garage. So, I'm not used to not having a boost. Um, oh, did you see that one zombie that I just crushed his head? Like, some zombies are different in different levels. Like, they get harder, and then they, like, they do more slowness to you. Whereas, like, that, that, that guy that was walking towards me, and he had, like, a white coat on, he is stronger than, like, the first zombies that are in the game. Like, the ones with, like, the hoodies on. So, I just got a better wheel upgrade. So, I'm going to be able to drive uphill better. Yes, I made it on top. Okay, I really want to show you guys the top ones. Because the top ones are really cool. Like, you can kind of... And then, they'll eventually have, like, a jump at the end. Where you can, like, kind of fly. If you have a boost. What? And that the cops always miss you if you stop. When they're jumping at you. Okay, I need an engine. Go. And the engine makes you go faster, and then it also, um, you don't use as much fuel with, like, a better upgraded engine. So that's, that's why that's good. And then the transmission, which just looks like a bunch of, like, pipes and, like, gears and stuff, is, that makes it so your overall top speed is better. So you can go really fast. So I'm going to get this boost right now. And then a transmission. So the boosts do look different for every level. But they all do the same thing. They make you go faster. And the last one is literally like a big jet engine thing. I think my favorite, though, is probably the cop cars um, one. So, oh, God, he just hooked on to the front. And I think when they hook on to the front, they also make you use more fuel than you normally would for just driving. So that's why it's good to stock up on the fuel upgrades, too. All right, gonna go, gonna go, 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 go. Nope. Oh, the boost already. Okay. Gotta go. And then jump. And sometimes if you time it just right with the boost, you can actually, like, jump up and then shoot, like, really far into the sky. But other times it'll just make you, like, go a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, gonna get a boost upgrade. And that's it. And so then the better car you have, the more the upgrades cost, too. Like, the more you earn, but then the more the upgrades cost. So it kind of balances it out, because... If they cost the same amount, you earn more, you would be able to upgrade it, like, really fast, which wouldn't be fair. So. Dang it, that guy lashed onto my boost. And as you can see, when you're on low, um, fuel, you actually, like, your, like, front of your car starts, like, smoking. And so I'm just, like, trying to get as far as I can right now. Oh, I just took out that zombie with, like, my boost. Okay. So, I'm going to get a gun. Oh, no, I could have gotten the armor. Well, I'll get the armor next time. The armor is still good, though. All right. So, I can go really fast. Yeah, like, see how the timing with the boost can make you, like, basically fly through half the level. Awesome. So, the guns have more bullets per upgrade as well because there's more zombies in, the, in each higher level. Oh man, just just under the the thing. So thanks for watching my video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.